I'm Ezra Raya, here to talk you through the day's burning issues and the biggest stories. Welcome to the Manila Times. Senate hearing for the controversial Maharlika Investment Fund has just begun, and there were a lot of reservations to say the least. It was late in November when the Congress pushed for the creation of a sovereign wealth fund. It flew by the House of Representatives and was approved on December 15th. And within two months, it has undergone some serious changes. And it has made a lot of people nervous. Here to break it down for us is Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel. Good day to you, Senator. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Manila Times. So you of all people expressed uh, your reservations against the Maharlika Wealth Fund or now the Maharlika Investment Fund. So you, Senator, and uh, and uh, Senator Raisa Ontiveros of the Minority Bloc said you will reject the Maharlika Investment Fund measure. Why, why is yes. that? The draft before us, the bill, yung panukalang batas, right before us, is a confused one. It does not know what it wants to achieve. There are uh, internal uh, contradictions. It is no longer a sovereign wealth fund. Because they sh somehow shifted the, the or changed the direction to an investment fund, and yet they still cite the Santiago principles meant for uh, sovereign wealth funds. So something is very wrong. So this is already a red flag or a warning sign to us that uh, the proponents may not even be serious about this uh, bill and may just be riding on a fad, a trend, just to say that, you know, in the Philippines, we are we are also, we are, we are the in crowd, we, we are part of a trend. So we do not, we should not pass laws like this just to feel that we are part of a trend or a, we are a, taking advantage of a fad among nations or among countries. So number one, a sovereign wealth fund like Norway's, which was the first the model, was based on a surplus, a windfall, a new source of wealth or funds for the country. And what was that source of wealth? They discovered oil, the North Sea. Uh, and then, you know, they could not absorb it in their budget because it will cause inflation. And they did not want to enjoy the bonanza by themselves, this present generation. They say that because they are they are they are, they may be egalitarian people, they are fair people, sabi nila. This oil, we did not create this oil, we did not invent this oil, we did not manufacture this oil. This is God's gift to our nation, to our people. So their present generation wanted to share it to future generations of Norwegians. Yan po yon. And then are we are we in the same situation? Do we have a new, so sudden, suddenly a new source of wealth? Or, or persistent budget surpluses year after year after year? Wala po eh. Doon tayo sa kabila eh. We have, we have persistent chronic budget deficits year after year after year. And we are heavily, heavily in debt for almost 14 trillion uh, pesos na po yan. So, wala. So, that's why uh, Ezra, the proponents, I think, realized this. And then they made it a turn from Norway to Indonesia. <laughs> they want now, uh, they now, they now want Indonesia as the model. It's an investment fund. But it's just that one or two year old fund. So, wala pa pong track record yan. Wag natin sabihin na uh, uh, Successful na po yan. And then, of course, iba rin tayo sa Indonesia because Indonesia has oil. Okay. It's not newly discovered, but it's still a periodic stream of revenues. Predictable. Napipredict po nila. Oh. So what did we do? Norway, liko to Indonesia, even the justification, sabi nila, sabi nila, surplus. We have surplus with the... The banks, the government banks have investable funds. My dear uh, uh, countrymen, existing na po ito. <laughs> ito. Ito sinasabi nilang investable funds. Existing assets na po yan. Nasa, 
It's with the government banks. And there is a reason why they are there in the assets or in the uh, financial statement of the government banks because they are required, required by the central bank so that the government bank will practice sound banking uh, practices. Diba? Kasama yun sa capital adequacy ratio and maybe some other formula needed by banks to to be safe and uh, secure. So for all of these reasons, the unjustifiable cannot be justified. The indefensible cannot be defended. We cannot save what is not worth saving. Just to follow up on that, sir, no? so earlier they uh, switched the sourcing of the funds from uh, GSIS and SSS. Now it's going to be from 100% of the dividends from the BSB and uh, uh, Land Bank of the Philippines will also chip in as well as the Development Bank of the Philippines. So with all this, uh, sir, and also it will be uh, there will be a public offering for the Maharlika Fund. So with all of this, sir, you, you would still negate this proposal that public offering is not in the official version because that's part of the confused uh, na in re-engineered version mas masama pa <laughs> i mean it becomes uh, it becomes like a special a special purpose vehicle uh, where you dump your either idle assets or your worthless assets kaya magingat po tayo diyan i mean uh, uh Something uh, profound is happening here. I, I, I do not. Uh, I still cannot explain it. Why all of a sudden, the national agenda has become the Maharlika first Maharlika, Maharlika Wealth Fund now shifted to Maharlika Investment Fund. This idea was never mentioned during the campaign. Never, not even mentioned in the sauna not uh, mentioned in the medium-term fiscal framework presented by the economic managers to the Senate and to the House and not listed in the Legislative uh, Executive uh, Development Council uh, priorities. Nothing from out of the blue. It is now wasting our time and it there is no justification for this. Sayang eh. I mean, sayang. We should we should be focusing on agricultural matters. Uh, paano ba ipapalago ang productivity ng lupa sa Pilipinas, lalo na sa pagkain, and then itong smuggling, paano ba natin labanan ito? Plus inflation. Yung, yun na lang sanang pag-usapan natin kasi uh, this is really unjustified. And then for those, and, and then an additional argument, uh, Ezra, and uh, to, to our viewers and listeners, even if you believe in creating such a fund, wrong timing pa rin. <laughs> Still wrong timing. If you put this up, Norway, the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund lost 164 billion US dollars times 50 na lang natin para madali. 8 trillion pesos. Lugi. Because the world economy uh, is not healthy. It is not the right time for in, in, uh, investing. But I will not argue that way because uh, I'm not a believer. Okay? So, but sinasabi ko lang, for those of you who still want to, to entertain this idea, wrong timing pa rin po. Finance Secretary mentioned this also during the Senate hearing. Uh, Finance Secretary Benjamin Jokno said that Maharlika Fund, the earnings or the profits from this fund, should it should it have profits in uh, should should it be approved, would fund the big ticket projects of the government. Because as of now, what we're doing is, uh, as he said, we're borrowing money to fund these projects. So, what would you propose as an alternative for this? I I will not propose any alternative because I will vote no for, uh, uh, in the Maharlika Fund issue. As written now, and and, and it, it, is, uh, it is a very defective, confused uh, bill. It has internal contradictions. There are no sufficient safeguards. And it authorizes the corporation to borrow. Imagine mo yun, no? Uh, pinagmamayabang na yung profits 
uh, pinagmamayabang na yung big ticket infrastructure projects pero there is the power to borrow money so what what is this is this a trap ngayon uh, but then uh, so if that is uh, i don't think that's a correct statement of the budget secretary because if that is a statement that the profits will be used for infrastructure mali na naman it is not in the bill that we are considering the profits are to be used for social welfare and 25% can be used by the corporation which is a political uh, gesture so bantayan na natin sa profits ha 25% direct assistance to the people so mamumulitika si Maharlika Investment Corporation and the 75% of the profit remitted to the national treasury not for infrastructure but for social welfare program so if that If you quoted the secretary correctly, mali na naman ang sinabi niya. It is not supported by the bill. One of the propellers of the Moharlika bill, Congressman Martin Romualdez, underscored the urgency of its creation. That's why it was approved uh, swiftly in the House of Representatives. Why do you think that is? And uh, what's the rush? Precisely. Uh, it was certified urgent by the president in the House. I question that certification Because under the Constitution, uh, a presidential certification should be extended to a legislative measure if it meets if it meets or answers a public emergency or calamity. So, same question: What is the what is the public emergency or calamity which will be immediately and urgently answered by the bill? Uh, if we go back to the original plan for a concept of a sovereign wealth fund, it should be. It is meant for the generations to come. So that can wait. We can talk about it uh, extensively because there is no rush if we are you know, uh, preparing for the generations of Filipinos to come. So looks like uh, re- something is really wrong. Something is... Uh, kung sa Tagalog pa, eh, uh, sintonado, out of tune. Uh, Uh, from all of these uh, happenings. So when do you plan to move against the Maharlika proposal, sir? If it if it should pass the committee, and of course I will be very surprised if it will pass the committee, then uh, we will be ready to meet the uh, measure head-on during uh, plenary sessions. Thank you so much for your insights, uh, Senator Coco Pimentel. Maraming salamat po. Salamat din po. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.